Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. I'm here at the Denton Military Vehicle and Gun Show 2019 with Ben, who's going to show us an interesting upgrade that he made to his Humvee. Yeah, so here we've got the sun visors. Um, usually driving mine in the afternoon once I get off work, so the sun's always low in your eyes. And so I started looking around, and my biggest thing is I wanted to find some tan ones that match the tan Humvee. Um, so I started searching Amazon, eBay, and these are actually TJ Jeep sun visors. Um, found them on eBay, and they, uh, they've been doing the trick great so far. Um, so what I did with the mounting is the mount here that's the pivot point has a slight curve in the plastic mount. So I just slid it over until it matched the curve as the Humvee frame starts to spin here. Um, so that was kind of my marker point. And it just so happens that you're pretty solid in the center of your passenger and driver side. Um, the other thing I did is I popped out the plastic here just to make sure that the windshield wipers weren't in the way whenever I put these two screws through. Do some pilot holes because I snapped a couple screws putting it in. Um, or you can get some self-tapping screws. Those work well as well. Uh, that goes right through that aluminum frame. And so the beauty of this is it also pivots out. That's the other thing I was wanting to oh, find. Nice. Yeah. Is uh, something that help you on the side as well. Um, the only the only thing that's you get a little gap up here, um, but you really don't have much of a choice with the way this mounts. You can't mount this up any higher. It has to go under. Um, but I haven't had any issue. I just bend it up a little bit if that's where it's at. Um, and I got really lucky and that it just happened to be the exact width is up to the top of the ceiling here. Oh, wow. um, yeah. But super simple um, to mount, two screws here, two screws here. And what I did on this side is once I got this one mounted, since this was my um, starting point, I took this clip and I clipped it to this and then I swung it over. And once I got it where it looked level and everything, I held it up here and I marked it with a pencil nice so that I knew this would match up I didn't do any measuring or anything it's yeah. just as simple as clipping it to the plastic here well I think that's important because with the little bit of curve that you noted on the the pivot side it puts this as I'm looking at it it's not exactly plumb level so if mm -hmm. you if you measured and drilled holes and made it level it would have been canted in a way that didn't line up perfectly so it's good you figured that out before <laughs> you drilled holes. Yeah, Definitely. good thinking. Um, and if you end up with a different one, the only thing that is really tricky that you would want to check is to make sure if you have a different brand or type or style and it does mount differently, it mounts higher, just make sure your screws aren't going to go through and catch your wiper um, motion inside the frame here. I mean, that's real easy. I, I popped this off. I took my phone, the corner where the camera's up in the corner of the phone, I just stuck it up in there right. with the flash on, and you could see everything moving, you could see how high it was, yeah. um, and it worked like a champ. Perfect. But yeah, I've been, I've been very pleased with them so far. Um, they stay up out of the way just fine and come down and pivot around and do, do the job awesome. perfect. Yeah, if you uh, if you still have a link you can send me, I'll yeah. put it in the video description. If anyone has any questions on this project, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments of the video, and uh, um, I won't answer them because I am not competent on this. But I'll see if I can get answers from Ben on that. And uh, well, we appreciate you sharing. Thanks a lot. Absolutely, anytime. All right, for now. Uh, We'll wrap this one up and do another couple videos. I think I'll give you a little teaser of what we're going to talk about. If we scroll down on Ben, you'll see an interesting non-military seat that he has installed here. So we're going to talk about those. If you uh, want to see that, go find that video. And uh, until then, we'll see you at the range.